So in school, we are taught learn, then change, and then do. And I think sometimes uh, as human beings, that's kind of the model we use in life and in business. You bring home your first child. There's no such thing as learning, changing, and you can throw out almost everything you learned prior to that child coming home. And it's do, change, learn as you go. You've got to take that model if you're going to succeed in business and life. Uh, now, you still got to learn. Okay? You still got to read. You still got to do all those things. But you can't. It's not going to happen by uh, doing anything other than doing. So adversity is our best teacher. Sometimes we avoid uh, adversity. But I will tell you, everything I've learned in life and in business and so on is has come at a moment of adversity where I was kind of backed up against the wall and forced to, to, to do, forced to, to change, forced to learn. You squeeze oranges, you get orange juice. You squeeze lemons, you get lemon juice. My question is, what happens when we squeeze you? You get negative or positive? What do we get when we squeeze you? Because life will squeeze you. You have to make a decision what the world's going to get when you get squeezed. I will tell you that the gain lasts way longer than the pain. You brought home your child. I'm using that example. Brought home the child for three months, six months. You didn't sleep. You didn't eat. I hear way too many people saying, you don't understand what I'm going through. What that is, is woe is me. But that's not, I'm charging. That's I'm wallowing. We know exactly what you're going through. We went through the exact same thing. But what you're going through doesn't make you special. There's a, a gazillion people on this world that are going through stuff. They're going through hell. Keep going. Don't plant a flag there. Don't camp out there. Don't build a house there. Go, keep going. If you focus on the challenges, you're going to stay exactly where you're at. But when, when I go run and anybody that's been a runner, if you focus on how painful it is, if you focus how tired you are halfway through the race, there's no way you're going to finish that race. You got to focus on the future. You got to focus on the, the finish line. You got to focus on how great it is going to be to win. Focusing on victory gets you through the pain. Winning in an inside job always has been.